Good morning, good morning. Yes, we come back to another Sunday. But this is a very special Sunday. It's the last Sunday of the Christian year. Next week, we come to the season of Advent. There will then be four Sundays before Christmas. Oh, I know the shops have been talking about it for the last month or so. But, in fact, it's now four weeks before the Feast of Christmas, when we'll be remembering once again the birth of Jesus in the stable at Bethlehem. But on this last Sunday of the Christian year, it's designated for us as the Feast of Christ the King. On this, we look back and we thank God for all that he's done, and our King named Jesus. In the last week, I've been talking about the book of Leviticus, and during that book, or the small part I've been dealing with so far, I've been trying to show how God training his people through the instruction of Moses, allowed them to put God first in their lives so that everything about what they ate and the food that they ate and all the things in their lives when they committed sins, they always came back and honoured God for being who he was. They recognised the fact that he was holy. They recognised the fact that they weren't. They recognised the fact that they needed him for the forgiveness of their sins. They recognised the fact that they needed him to hold them together as a community. They acknowledged him for who he was. Well, in a sense, that's what we're doing with the Feast of Christ the King as well. We are acknowledging him for who he is and what he is. We look out to this world and so many people think they're so important. Not just uh, queens and kings, but prime ministers and presidents they think that for some reason at this moment of time, they are right at the pinnacle of everything that is important in life. But the truth is that it is Jesus who is the true king. The truth is, it is Jesus who literally created everything that exists, both the angels in heaven, both the world as we see it. It is he who holds everything in existence at all times. He is truly the king. And yet, being the king, he is the one who has decided that you would enter into his own creation. How is this possible? I don't know. He is the one who has decided to enter into his creation to show us how much he loves us, to show us how much he wants fellowship with us, and to offer us eternal life. Christ the King, not just somebody sitting up on a throne, but somebody who wants to come right into our lives and share everything he has with us. So on this last Sunday of the Christian year, we give thanks, we give thanks for Christ, who was, is, and will be the King of this universe. No one can take that away from him. God has decreed it. Jesus is the King. And we love him and acknowledge him and praise him at all times. And yes, 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 I'm going to sing. Well, if it's Sunday, of course I'm going to sing. However much people might think, oh, why has he got to sing? I'm going to do it. And I'm going to sing a lovely uh, hymn that came out a short time ago. Make way, make way for Christ the King. And yes, once again, I have to wear my spectacles. Make way, make way for Christ the King in splendor arrives. Fling void the gate and welcome him into your lives. Make way, make way for the King of Kings, for the King of Kings. Make way, make way. And let his kingdom in. Are you prepared to accept him as king? Then praise him and claim him. King of the universe. Jesus, our saviour and lord. He comes the broken hearts to heal. The prisoners to free. The deaf shall hear. The lame shall dance. The blind shall see. Make way, make way 
For the King of Kings, for the King of Kings, make way, make way, and let his kingdom in. Yes, there's many sad people in this world as well. Let's remember them. And those who mourn with heavy hearts, who weep <coughs> and sigh. With <coughs> I'm sorry once again. With laughter, joy, and royal crown, he'll beautify. Make way, make way for the King of Kings, for the King of Kings. Make way, make way, and let his kingdom in. Yes, and I call to each one of you now. We call you now to worship him as Lord of all. To have no gods before him, their thrones must fall. Make way, make way for the King of kings, for the King of kings. Make way, make way. And let his kingdom in. On the feast of Christ the King, let's acknowledge his majesty and praise him for who he is. Amen.